All right. Oh, I don't have my little switcheroonie. <laughs> I love I'll go it down downstairs. That's okay. I'll be right back. Hi, friends. Hello and welcome. Welcome to our fun Friday. And we have got some fun techniques for you to learn today. And I'm kind of learning right along with you because it occurred to me that um, I wanted to try to get a really super grungy look on fabric using our stencils and using cracking mediums. So we're gonna see how that goes. Welcome, I am Lynn from Ellen J Goods. We are located in Medina, New York. We go live every Monday and Friday and every other Wednesday at 1.30. We're both on YouTube and we're here on Facebook. Well, or here on YouTube and on Facebook. <laughs> Whichever way, whichever way you're going. So thank you for joining us. Megan is here with us today, and uh, she'll be monitoring your comments. And she'll strictly monitoring strictly. Your oh boy, do we have some things that we're going to talk about today? Wow, wow, wow. But um, so yeah, I, you know, I've just been totally into. Um, well, I was years ago, totally into like, like um, the old world baskets. One time, Megan, I actually bought a basket, one of those big travel wicker trunks. Okay, <laughs> and was uh, fully she didn't give me <laughs> comments. And oh, how embarrassed! I'm not used to using mom's computer. Anyway, she evidently likes it full volume. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but anyway, she was a 90-year-old woman who had immigrated here from Poland uh, when she was younger, much younger, and she brought her belongings in one of those big wicker, wicker trunks. You know what I mean. If you love vintage and antiques, they're the things that are just almost impossible to find unless you're... Um, you know, uh, you're looking in all the right places and have all the uh, right amount of dough. <laughs> but I love that look. I have tried to recreate that look on baskets that I have gotten over the years. And um, I just thought today it would be kind of fun to add a fabric label, uh, adhere a fabric label, or make a removable fabric label, either or, to a basket. So that's what we're gonna do. And what a fabulous idea. It's a fabulous idea. And I want to really, um, I don't know, I'm really like into trying to just make it so that it looks like it should have been on here forever and ever. Love and it. And always. Always and forever. Megan, say hello. Hi, everybody's here on Facebook. Lynn, Shannon, Catherine, Lisa, Linda, Laura Hall, Judy, Nina's here, Mary Jo, Liz, Lori, Kathy, and Sally so far. Thank you so much for watching, And you on guys. YouTube, we have Chris, Paula, Jennifer, and Elizabeth. Oh, and here's Patrice. Hello. Hello, our friends over on YouTube. Get that chat going over there. And while you're here, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, go ahead and what? That is in the frame, and I don't like it. I'm not seeing it. That is, is coming into the corner of the frame. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, it's whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to be professional here. <laughs> And so, okay, so I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Um, you may have seen the video or the tutorial that I did where we created, um, we created those wonderful, um, oh, I've showed so many ways to use my custom grain sack stencils. And I have, um, I showed how to make a coverlet. I showed um, how to use them to make pillows. We put them on canvas bags. We've, we've used these in so many ways. We've done really cool backgrounds for mixed media pieces. So um, kind of going back to that little fabric thing today and um, all of these stencils, I do wanna share with you. Many of you probably already know that I had these created uh, and they're actual 
actual designs taken from my own antique German grain sack collection. My immigrants family, my great grandparents immigrated here from Germany and they were certainly, they were farm, they came here and worked on farms. So agriculture was strong in their area and these have just a very special, special meaning to those of us who love grain. Who love grain. That's right. That's yes. right. So um, take a look at them. They're really super fun. And we're going to use some of those today on fabric. And let me see what we have to do y'all. Everyone loves your top, Mom. Is that top on our website? It is not. Of course we not. Only have, it would well, be crazy. We only have two of them. Well, now we only have one? Yeah. So... This is it. Isn't that adorable? Well, it's if you loose. want the other one, yeah, you can message email Megan me. like right away. Info at lnjgoods.com. Yeah, Let me just super cute. It's linen. It's oh, I love. it's absolutely darling. It's darling. Thank you. Um, I just want to let everybody know that everything besides the shirt Mom is wearing <laughs> is going to be in a collection I created for today called Featured on Our Live Six Sixteen, and you can find a link to that collection in the description, both on Facebook and YouTube. She's got it together, man. Okay. She's got it together. Yes, she does. Um, let's uh, let's flip the camera down. Um, if you stick around for a little while, I'm going to show you how I finished up the project that we worked on on Monday. I know I said that we, I was going to maybe possibly come back in on Tuesday to finish yeah. up the page. I said, but you're I a wasn't, liar. I wasn't feeling it. By the time I was done and ready to kind of go home, I thought, oh my gosh. I, You know, when you're doing art journaling, or really any project, it's like, it's kind of like you gotta, you got to feel it, right? Yeah. And so I didn't feel it until um, I got home late that night. No well, I felt some of it when I got home late that night or later that night and I actually finished one of them that night and then and then I wasn't feeling the journal page until way into the next day, Tuesday. So, I apologize. I should not even dangle that carrot out no, there. Dangle that angel. <laughs> Never right. do that. But it was cool. I think you're going to like um, what I did with them and to see yes. kind of where I went with all of that. So here we go. Let's take a look. Um, I have some pieces that I have already prepared in advance. And um, I want to, uh, I'm going to get ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get ready to stencil these babies. Okay. And um, then I want to have one. These are just scrap-a-doodles that I had because, you know, you don't always have the most perfect image. So um, I'm actually going to rip this one for what do you one, of the, one of the steps that I oh, did. Oh, you got water. Okay. I got my own water. Thank you, Megan. So, um, well, you can have the shirt, Liz. There is one more. Yeah, if it's you cute, Liz. Yeah, let me know. Mom's dangling angel. She's dangling linen shirts in front of you. That you Trying can't to have. tear linen. Oh, All right, stop. Gosh. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I'm not gonna hurt myself. You know, real linen is is tough to rip. It really is. Is that how you can tell real from? Fake linen. Fake linen. You try to tear it. <laughs> I don't know. But From Timu linen. <laughs> <laughs> don't even go there, please. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put one of these little guys on here. I just grabbed a pile of my stencils. I, I really don't even know what I've got here, but we're going to do this right here. So um, I, I like to use ash instead of a straight up black. So we're going to... Oh, my little hole is clogged. My little hole is clogged. <laughs> no. JR, that's, you know what? I was going to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> You're but he's, it's, my JR has got to get out of here. 
It's uh, that is going in your file. Uh, <laughs> Price on the fire truck. Oh, I could have just said it oh. out loud. <laughs> One twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're I have. Go back and edit that out. That I, is, that we is absolutely out of control. I have our little our stipple brush, which is a nice wide base. I love this, and I use these a lot. So I'm just going to offload as much as I can to distribute the paint. You guys know should know this routine by now. But if you're new to stenciling and even on fabric. Um, I, I want to distribute that paint and I want to also um, work the excess out of it. And that still works even if it's not on a paper towel? Absolutely. On a non -absorbent Absolutely. Service. I love that JR had no problem just guffawing at that <laughs> inappropriate thing, but this had to be a secret no. <laughs> <laughs> that no one could know about. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my gracious! Unbelievable. That is a huge HR issue. <laughs> you know what? I'm telling you right now. Uh, you guys, that and that's how he is on camera. <laughs> Can imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I said it on camera when you showed that ledger, but that is a lot. I have several of those. <laughs> are what my HR files on him look like. Huge dusty <laughs> books that I have to get out and <laughs> clunk down. Oh and my gracious! Oh. <sighs> so Ages here we go. Days. This is our our impression we get. If what I am doing, even though I'm working with a drier brush, I do want to really make sure that I work that paint down into the fibers of the fabric. I'll come back and, you know, I'll do another coat if I want to, but it's better to work from a very light coat and add extra layers of paint and stencil on top of that. So we'll do, we'll put that one aside. We'll just do one more to um, just show, show the whole stencil thing and then Paula Stackhouse used your German stencils on some pillows, and she loves them. Oh, thank you, Paula. You know what? You guys have sent me pictures of projects that you've done with them, and I am so impressed. Like, you've done pillows. You've done just so many things, and I love that. I love it. This was an action. This was uh, from one of my grain sacks. But what I love about this one um, is that um, Stahl is uh, my great grandmother's name. Mm. Last night. Oh yes. You know Mindy. what? Someone just asked me that, about that, and I was like, No, we're not related to anybody named Stahl. Yeah, Minnie Stahl was her well, name. I, who was that? I lied. You lied. Who was just asking me that? They probably heard it on... Um, I hope it didn't affect your um, purchase. The paint she is using is Fusion Mineral Paint and Ash. Adding it to the collection. But look, see, I have a I've very little amount of paint on here, but see how I'm really working <coughs> this into the fabric. You know, that is um, one of the questions that we get asked very often is, you know, but can you wash this? Will it fade? And the same with like IOD ink, for example, on fabric. I can tell you without a doubt that this paint, I will choose every day over anything else for fabric. Okay. I love this. Now, if you're talking about, um, uh, let me, if you're talking about stamping with IOD ink on fabric, you want to remember that if your, if your stamp is just sitting on the surface of the fabric, it's very likely gonna easily wear off. So um, keep, it, keep that in mind that when you stamp and when you apply your ink to the stamp, you really want to make it nice and juicy, which I know you hate hearing that. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> but because you want the ink to kind of soak right down into the fibers, all right? Then let it sit for 24 hours. I would let these sit for 24 hours, and then I would heat set them. When I wash any type of fabric or finished 
pro project that's been stenciled or stamped with ink, um, I try to wait as long as I can. I wait until, oh, yeah, I better wash it. <laughs> oh, it's like, you yeah, good? <laughs> no. But anyway, I, I try to wash it. Um, uh, I wait to wash it. I really want to give. But this. obviously not to wear it. <laughs> That's right, because, you know, what's going to happen yeah. when I'm wearing it? Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> you, you really want that, any of those mediums to really set into the fabric. And, um, and then when you wash, gentle wash, if you can, turn them inside out. And uh, go ahead and uh, you can tumble dry on low. Or I would say the ink the inked ones I always do like on a cool wash um, very like a gentle cycle inside out and then I hang them to dry and honestly I've stamped t-shirts linen aprons pillow covers I've not really had an issue and and um, other than you know if you're washing anything repeatedly what's going to happen it will ultimately it is going to fade no matter what what you get what kind of you all know, beauty fades all sorry beauty to say fades over time okay. liz is asking is fusion ash a graphite or black it's graphite it's right? a graphite color it does have i would say in some lights it almost looks like it has a blue undertone but i think it's so one, it's been, cool black. yeah but I, I think this is one of our best selling Oh, because uh, we use it fusion so much. paints of all time. It's it's such a it's, it's a, a great really neutral. great ash is a great um, neutral color. Jan says hazelwood works great. Too. Hazelwood would be an excellent choice on this. Yeah, oakum. Yeah, you could get some really varying and different effects. Deb so, says I'm extra perky today. Well, thank you. I think that's a compliment. Patty says, do you heat set it after 24 hours? Absolutely. Yes. yes, I always heat set my things. I think you should raise that glass and just let everybody know that we support Grimace on his birthday. It's a special day for us Happy here at LA Grimace. Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> raise, raise your, you know what, Mom? Let's just quickly cheers. Oh, my goodness. To Grimace. Cheers to Grimace. You know what? There are people that do complain that we get a little too chatty on well, here, but... Oh, cheers. Well. Cheers to Grimace. <laughs> we will love you forever. It's a special day here. Yes. Very special. Okay. How about now step two? So after I let these dry completely, heat set them... I don't even know if I heat set these. I probably didn't, the ones that I'm going to show you. But but I would let these dry completely and then heat set them. Okay? Now we're going to go on to one that I did a long time ago. Yes, this is just a little scrappy fabric piece. And so I was thinking that, like, I wanted to be able to apply these to a basket. But I really wanted them to be just as grungy and stiff like it, it just i wanted them to be really stiff and grow like just aged you very said very, gross i did very aged okay so um what i have here this is my stenciled piece and i started thinking like well what is gonna kind of soak down into this fabric and really make it so that um it's more waterproof because I'm going to be applying other mediums over top of it. So here's what I did, you guys. Are you ready? Now I want you to know I did this. I just poured and used my hand to to wipe it onto the fabric. I used my funkature. All right. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to have to stop to wash my hands and so forth. So what I did with these is I literally just used my hand to wash all over this. With the I'll rock just, hard and satin. Yep. The, or you can use a mat, whatever. I just grabbed whatever I had. And then I'm going to work this down into my cloth. Thank you to everyone who likes our chatting. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So you can see this one's a little more faded because it's one that I was like practicing on. So um, when I very first got the stencils. But I mean, look at that's fusion mineral paint and it's not, 
it is not like rubbing off or wearing off or um, diluting or anything like that. Smearing. Schmudging and schmearing. Yeah. And it should not. No. But I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like how cool would these be? Like then if you did the fabric and then you, you, oh, you know what, Megan? What? There's, um, um, in the back, there's a couple of those empty apron. You know the, the apron, aprons that came in the big cardboard tubes? Yeah, where are they? There's a couple of them in the back. Get me those cardboard tubes. I just came up with another idea. Oh my gosh. Patrice, how is your mouth? Yes, tell us. And how was your anniversary? All right. And so then um, you want this to uh, set aside to dry. Now, keep in mind, like, you don't want this to uh, dry to uh, paper or, like, a, a table surface or anything like that. So this is one of my disposable palette sheets. It has a very slippery finish. You could use, like, a silicone baking sheet. Sometimes I'll flip over a mold if it's the right size, and I'll just put this on top of, or, like, put it on the back of one of my IOD molds to dry. But you want this to dry completely, all right? So I'm going to put this aside and... We will move on to our next experiment. <laughs> Patty, at first she said, the chat tubes and the laughter is all part of what makes your life so enjoyable. And she meant to say chattiness, but I like chat tubes. Like I instead like of YouTube. Chat tubes too. <laughs> like maybe we should just give a disclaimer that this is a chat tube. Could you throw that in some water? Yes. Please? Thank you. <laughs> Here, this too. Thanks. <laughs> yes. All right. So. So we have these two pieces here. These are the tubes I was talking about. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm thinking, would that be so neat? Literally just... Oh, yeah. Very cool. Glued onto, you know, just glued onto one of these. Like, how neat would that be? Oh, my gosh. I love it. I might have to do that. Okay, so these are my pieces. This is a piece of French um, uh, linen, um, like a, a cotton bed sheet, I should say. I'm sorry. And um, this one is just a piece of uh, vintage linen. You can see I didn't even go all the way over to the edge. That's okay. But what I have now is I have a really nice uh, finish on which to apply any other medium. So we're going to do that. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get some, well, I'm going to use my transparent cracking gel because you know that I love this stuff. It is my new favorite crackle. All right. Tree said her mouth is much better, but still no salty or spicy food. Ooh. And her anniversary was very quiet. I bet. Hey, did Gary get his Valentine yet? We want to apply love. component one. Hi, Sandy. I'm not going to do this over the entire surface. I'm only going to hit or miss this in places. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe like my my corners here. Okay, Jair is so <laughs> chatty today. He's well, so he said long story short, so that's a good, that's a good that is right. hopeful. That makes me feel hopeful. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and that was 20 minutes in. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. We love him. So, um, you know, those of you that are of our, of my age-ish, or whatever, when, when you have to start to deal with, like, you know. It's end been a of, very somber week. It has been the discussion somber. discussion around here has been very somber. Well, you know, when you have to discuss end-of-life things, it's mm. it's never a fun thing to do. Mm. Um, when the end times. When you have to begin to think about your elder care. <laughs> And that, and that that involves your eldest daughter. <laughs> Things start to get 
perhaps a little sobering. Oh, gracious. I'm going to go ahead and do this one right away, too. When you're looking across the table and saying, wow, <laughs> this is what it's going to come This is it. To. This is it. Right? Um, she's going to be my personal assistant till my, <laughs> till my dying my day. days. <laughs> And, and we have to literally put it in writing. So anyway, um, what I was going to say was, we, Megan just has always said, you probably have heard her say, like, well, you know, everyone knows that I'm working on a hologram of mom. So that technology is incredibly expensive, so. Well, with artificial intelligence yes, these things days, things are we... definitely looking up in recent days for me, it seems. It's something so, I might be able to actually. We do. we told our attorney that Megan's <laughs> Megan's plan. Well, it started was. with you saying that you don't want any extra measures taken. God forbid when yes you are in that position. And I asked, do I have the right to <laughs> to uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Veto or um, does my opinion You're like, oversee as your healthcare proxy? Yes. Am I allowed to say no, nope, keeper? Keep, just keep that heart a-pumping just for 24 wild hours where I am going to have the sale of a lifetime, of a literal <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> and mom told her attorney this. I was very embarrassed, actually. And he's probably like, are you sure you want to? Are you sure you want to handle in your face? We came up with so many different oh, ideas for how to advertise Lord. the sale, oh, this, the, the, uh, leaving this earthly this, realm sale. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you've heard of Swedish death cleaning. It could yeah. be Alan J. Good's death yep. sale. Yep. Um, Megan said one more lie. Or I, actually, I said to Andrew, just one last lie. She's like, I would just prop her up and just put things in her hand. Right? That's all. That's and all. I promise to put your makeup on you and make you look cute as can be. Oh, my goodness. And Andrew said, well live sale or we might nope. have to come up with other terminology no it'll be like you know and instead of like closing oh, a business girl. sale it's just like Lynn's Evie leaving this earthly realm and she can't take any of it with her can't take it with you <laughs> and I sure don't want it <laughs> Hope it doesn't come to that, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm telling you. But I'm not even allowed to do that. I have no say. So no, you must. But like I said, wishes. with the way AI is going and Chat GBT, I might be able to say like, please, <laughs> can you come up with a project? You've seen those apps where you could literally take a still photo of yeah, me, and, add and all you have to stool. do, you just make the lips move, right? We've all seen add that. Toadstool stamp. <laughs> Lynn from Ellen J. Good's project and to see what they come up with. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, a last oh, chance my. sale, sale of the century. Yeah. <laughs> Move her hands from behind. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> Somebody else's hands coming from behind. Holy God. They're like, what? Judy asks, can they call dibs on stuff in advance? Sure. Email oh. me info at lmjgoods.com. <laughs> I'm not even in the camp. And that yet. shirt that she's wearing, now we'll have two of them. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my gosh, uh, Megan. I know. Well, I've got enough footage of her singing that type on Jingle. Oh gosh, that yes. definitely, That'll be. That should be Ooh. easy. Yeah, right? <coughs> oh, so dear me. Leah. Oh, dear me. That was uh, <laughs> Leah, you too missed much. the big sale announcement that I just made. All I heard was a lot of laughing. Yes. Oh, my just gosh. So I'm just using my heat <laughs> gun to dry this. I am probably going to pass this off to she somebody. Has, <laughs> think about how beautiful her urn or coffin could be. Crackled within an inch of its life. <laughs> I will use every crackle we have. <laughs> Don't put it on my face, please. And imagine the live I could do. Wow. <laughs> this sounds <laughs> ominous. Yeah. We can oh, get my goodness. Yeah. Well, you know something? When you have to think about your elder care decisions, it's good to laugh about it, I guess. 
Oh my <laughs> gosh, Mary said, I worked with a woman whose grandmother had died before they were having a family portrait done. So they propped her up in a chair for it. You can do the same for her final well, sale. Good they say. People used to do that in all the, the time. In the era, of course. Yeah. They propped up Uncle so and so in his in a chair in the living room and had la- their last photographs taken with him. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a crackle and molds on the cough. I would call it <laughs> I would call it featured on our live coffin collection. <laughs> <laughs> All the products. <laughs> you just done Lynn's <laughs> Now you've seen Lynn make many a beautiful urn, <laughs> but is nothing her own coffin. <laughs> nothing. I'm <laughs> making my own Wait a minute, JR. Yeah. We'll build the box. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then I can totally bling it out with, <laughs> you know, but for Halloween, Jenna, we may need some mini ones. Yes. Oh, yes. That's a great idea. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. So if we goodness. get him started on it now. <laughs> the coffin <laughs> collection. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, oh gracious. Leah, since you're here, I'm going to have you <laughs> blow dry this in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, as soon as I give my after boy a you give chances. Of, uh, there you go, buddy. Oh, Catherine said, Kat said, use resin. It's impervious to moisture. <laughs> Great. Look, Thank you. Or yeah. there's rock hard. Pickle. Yeah, of course. And rock hard all, well, rock hard is, is yeah. our go-to, right? Betty said, think of the money you'd save using floral okay. transfers is on the coffin. Is this the one I'm doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> floral, t- oh my gosh. This and lining be. it with green sacks. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, well, Jan just said line with green sacks. <laughs> And then I would wear my linen dress with the stamped uh, border from Rural Scenes. But of course, that would also be for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my first coat, my first step of the crackling, cracking gel, transparent gel down. Deborah asks, can we vote which mold to use? I'm going to use every mold. Every single one. Well, you know what? It, it kind of reminds me. Like, think of, you know, when Debbie and some other very talented ladies do. Uh, this is step two. Um, when they do, like, um, oh, gosh, what do I want to say? When they do, like, those mannequins and yeah. put, like, all these molds and everything. Yeah. That's, that's what that's my a, coffin. That's actually a great idea. That's what my coffin's going to look like. notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this, I am going to need you to get to work on those molds now because we both know I don't do this. So this particular <laughs> product is the is a gel. It's a gel type of a thing. So I'm just going to grab a little stick here and try to see where my... I feel like this is your newest favorite crack. Oh, I, I said that already, Megan. Sorry. I was lost, and I was just having a lot of brainstorming and ideas just then. Mm-hmm. And we're going to see if this crackles. Like I said, I've never done this before, so um, you've seen it first here. There's a lot of things they've seen and heard first here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, just <laughs> the end-of-life uh, um, arrangements, yeah. certainly. <laughs> Goodness sake. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of looking for my shiny. It's shiny, and I think I got it all. And if I didn't, oh well. Oh, good idea. Deb said they could all attach a mold as they pay their respects. <gasps> That's be- that is a be- that would be a beautiful tribute, Deb. <laughs> what? That is beautiful, Deb. Oh, is this Deb Bird? Would your yes. husband bring you to oh, to the? Uh, we could call what could we call it? Not the enthroning, the the molding, the the. We got to come up with a good name for it. The burial. <laughs> no, I mean the the prod the the ritual of placing the molds oh, one yes. by one onto the casket yes. using tight bond. And I would hope that tight bond would finally sponsor us <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. So I'm just drying this now with the heat gun and fingers crossed that everything will crackle the way I expected it to. Okay, Cheryl. Sorry, Cheryl. She said, please tell us the crackling steps again. Oh, 
All She's right, trying to fine. learn something here. Oh, all right. So what I did is after this, my rock hard top coat is embedded in the fabric, right? Yes, and dried. And dried. Now this. Now I'm going to use component one of the cracking gel transparent component one. I applied that over it and dried it. Then I applied the, now I kind of took that gel with a um, popsicle stick or a tongue depressor and I just spread it over those areas where I had applied the first step. And it's kind of thick how you spread it's it. It's kind of thick, like. yeah. And it's gel-like and that's what I wanted. I wanted <laughs> to see if I can get some cool effects here. And I'm I'm looking to see, oh, I'm hoping this will work. And I know some of you say, well, you could use the uh, crackle stamp from, yes, I could. It's not the same. But I wanted to try something different. So Stephanie, she is taking fabric and she's aging it with crackle. We Let's don't know if it's gonna work. We don't know if it's gonna work. Usually stuff works when she tries it. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It might not. We'll see. We'll see. I should probably stop fussing with it and let it... This could be a complete bust, you know? Maybe, maybe it won't work at all. Maybe it won't work at all. We'll see. It's gonna work. As you're applying the heat, you don't want to burn the fabric. It's really hard for me to tell if. So I guess we'll know in a minute when we put some wax on this. If this little experiment worked. Should we vote to see? Is it going to work or is it not going to work? Oh, it's, I think it's working. It's gonna work. I think it's working. Hello from the painted spindle. Hmm? I said hello from the painted spindle. Hello, painted spindle. Does the paste get hard? It does. Yes, it does. Oh, and it is cracking. Oh my gosh, this is great, you guys. This is great. Liz said it would be a mold workshop weekend. A very exclusive uh, retreat. Speaking of molds and the weekend, those of you that are local, we are going to be um, starting a series of free half-hour demos right here in the shop. On and Saturday is our first one. We're going to see how this grows and how it how it goes and grows. And um, but I'm going to be just talking about and demonstrating all things IOD molds and showing some very basics of um, how to use air dry clay and resin and certainly it will be a hands-on so if you are local we would encourage you to stop by and uh see us we're gonna i think it'll be fun we'll you'll get to see the project without having to watch a huge long video about it right yeah, and ask questions in person exactly and it's like oh i've never mm -hmm. used these before how do i do it and ask all the questions and see some great samples so that is what we are doing this coming saturday at 11 a.m and as we've discussed here every day is not promised so you don't know when you might get that opportunity again with mom to <laughs> learn about molds face to face <laughs> Melissa said, the last wake I went to, there were markers to write a message on the casket. The woman was a real hoot, so I wrote, good luck on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Liz wants to know if the paste gets hard. It uh, It's hard, but flexible. So it, there, it's flexible, Liz. Look at that. It's so neat. And yet I can see the cracks in there. So I think that when we apply... Um, when we apply the wax, you're going to see it. We're going to see it. Sandy said at my funeral, I want someone to play Pop Goes the Weasel and see how many people stare at my casket in anticipation. 
I <laughs> think there was eight. <laughs> a Bill Cosby thing years, years ago on an album. And he said he wanted a um, tape recorder yeah. in his voice under his casket. Yeah. That is, someone walked up to the casket, hello there, how are yeah. you today? You're looking oh, fine. Yes. Could you Scarrow. imagine? Oh, my word. Uh, that's good. It would be fun. I'm just trying, I want to make sure that this is completely dry. This was a little bit thicker here. Okay. You can slide those out of the way if you like. Oh, I'm fine. And then, but I'm going to hand this up. You're going to give me something to do. I'm going to give you a job to do, Leah. Jesus. Here you go. All right, so yeah, I I think that this is going to be cool. Do you have a nose this one? Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, so I did think about now how I want to um, how I want to emphasize the uh, cracking in this. So I'm thinking what I want to do is I have some dark wax here and. I'm gonna try, oh, let me see. Well, you know what? You go big or go home, right? So I'm getting some dark wax out. Oh yeah. And I'm kind of, going in these areas where that cracking is and I'll do some other stuff to this momentarily have you ever offloaded your brush on a surface that didn't have brown paper on it um yeah a paper towel no I just meant like on a real <coughs> table because you didn't oh mm -hmm. so no, to good it. question right I mean if you yeah you know, yeah Put Melissa a paintbrush and a cup of coffee in. You can see offloading on the table. Melissa says hi. Hi, Melissa. Okay, so I'm gonna um, actually, I think I'm just gonna try a baby wipe first to kind of remove as much of this as I can. Let's okay. see what happened. Oh, yeah. Like, I got clear wax out, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Patty asks, have you seen the video of the Irish funeral and the deceased had a recording of himself asking to be let out? Hilarious. Oh. <laughs> See, we're not the only ones with a dark sense of humor. Oh, gosh, no. Okay, so, actually, I am taking some clear wax now on that baby wipe. And I'm trying it both ways, you know? I, I tried with just the plain old baby wipe. And now I'm trying with the wax. Hey, Michelle. But... Um, then I can also take what's left of that wax and fill in. Oh, look at that, you guys. Cool. Jeannie it's, says coffee with cream and sugar cleans a brush like a boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many times have we done that, yes. right? Oh, my gosh. Hi, so many. So I'm just taking whatever is left in here, that dark wax and clear wax that's on here, and I'm just scrubbing it over the surface. Would the antiquing glaze work for this? You know, probably. I think you just have to kind of try different things. I feel like it'd be even easier than the It wax. might be, but I like, I like the effect that the wax is giving. Yeah. I really do. Um... So when Leah's done, we'll try like dark and decrepit and see how that is. You know, we'll try it both ways. Um, let me, yeah, I'm going to try, oh my gosh, let me just see if I can get a few spatters on here mm, to make that. it look. What's that? This one right here is the only spot. Oh, um, I'm just getting a wet brush and some dark and decrepit. I want it 
nice and wet, okay? You're using it over the wax? Yeah. Oh, for the spatter. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little spatter. I'm gonna try. I don't want a lot. And it is going to soak down in there, but that's okay. You know, I think I, I would just do that, and that would be it. Okay, and then... Nancy and says, what if you put a sign on the empty casket that says, out to lunch, be back at 1 p.m.? I think that would make a great stencil that would be a special edition. <laughs> now, look at that, man. Gone fishing. Yep. Gone fishing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just, honestly, I'm just adding some age and spots wherever, you know? Okay, so that's kind of what we have. Sandy says... Well, Liz says the wax looks like natural dirt. Yeah. It does, yeah. It really does. Um, Sandy says, when my husband died, my kids and I went to the funeral home to make arrangements. Of course, we had all cried for two days, and none of us ever thought we would ever laugh again. Oh. My sweet daughter was a daddy's girl, and she wanted everything to be perfect. So she announced to the funeral director that she wanted to be the one to pick out the urinal for his ashes. <laughs> The funeral director <laughs> knew us well, so he was laughing as hard as the rest of us. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Gail. Okay, and we'll see if... This is just um, dark and decrepit liquid patina. We're going to see if that will kind of make those cracks evidenced. We miss you, too, Gail. Oh, Gail, stop. Okay, let me try a baby wipe and see. No, not as much. No, is it not as much crackle or it just doesn't show oh, up Oh, no, as well? there's definitely crackle there, but it's just not showing up as much with the... Um, with the dark and decrepit. Now, can you still go over that with wax? Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, I can. But, yeah, it definitely isn't, it really isn't um, revealing the cracks like the wax would. That's interesting. But this is kind of giving it a cool look, too. Yeah. But because this is like soaked with that uh, rock hard top coat, it gives it it does allow you some flexibility um, to move your mediums around. Which wax we're you using? Dark. Yep. So let's see. And I would say, like here, I just used um, my finger instead of a brush. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? There they are. Yeah. There's that crack. There's that crackle. Leah, are you going to take home your beautiful little piece today? Oh, I would love to. That's awesome. <clears throat> Oh yeah, look at that. The one that didn't need legs. Yes. Yep. Do you <laughs> see that? Can you see that, you guys? See the crackle that's showing up? Did Amy Schmidt tell you just how happy that made her? <gasps> she did. She was just she called, overwhelmed. She called me the next day. Yeah. Because she had stopped in the shop and Yeah, I was here when she came was in. So happy. Yes. I think that's so nice. And so happy that it was going to Leah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. Liz Clark says the dark and decrepit looks like it came from a ship. More of a wet look. Oh, and who doesn't love a wet green? All right. Pretty soon my entire living room will be yeah. all good. good. <laughs> all good pieces. Yeah. It's going to have a mini show room yeah. in my living room. Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm just getting some more 
like roughness on here. And then I'll show you what I had in mind with these, with these crazy pieces here. Like that's neat. This one is really, really grungy, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, very it's cool. It's kind of cool. All right, so let me take Stephanie said it looks like those signs hanging up after World War II, old, mm -hmm. dingy, and barely hanging in yep. there. Yep. Oh, of course I don't have my all. Can you maybe get you something? I need a, a pokey, a sharp pokey thing. Hmm. Um, scissor blades aren't. Yeah, that aren't is not sharp, sharp and pokey. No. <laughs> not sharp and pokey enough. I don't even know where I would. An exacto knife. Exacto knife in there. Perfect. Oh, there's no blade in it. <laughs> oh, it would be worth it. How about one of, a, one of our box cutters, Megan? Oh, great big fat needle. Yeah. Do we not have a needle? Probably in the other. Oh, it is so cool. And look, even where it was like a little bit thicker, I can. This is so neat, you guys. Oh, that woman. What about like this? The pokey on that. Oh, yeah, give me pokey. Well, so these are uh, the Tim Holtz. Poker. Isn't poker, it? sorry. So I'm just going to poke a hole. And I'm going to put one of these brads through there. These are the Tim Holtz large fasteners. Large fasteners. Okay. But I love that the look of them. The grungy. Yeah, I know this is totally your thing, isn't it? Your well, style. It would be at Halloween. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine the fun things you could do at Halloween with these? I'd have to make goofy signs for this for the kids' yes. doors on their bedrooms. All right. That would be a fun project for us. Yeah. Then, um, <clears throat> let me find my basket here. I'm going to pull this out. Just give myself a, just a bit of room here. And let's see if my brilliant idea, woo, <laughs> I was going to say that's going to be really close. It's going to work. Okay. Oh, I love it already. I love it already. All right, so I want to find. Are those brats even long enough, though, to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah plenty there. long. Mm -hmm. Yes, cool. Betty said those stencils would be awesome on those faux tombstones you placed in your yard for Halloween. They really would. We should make some grape rubbing. Well, let me get this one tightened up first. I used to do that as a writing project for the kids mm. and we would take them to some place where we were in this town that I was teaching and they'd make a grave rubbing and then they had to come up with some kind of a story to tell this person's life. I love life. that. <clears throat> that is a great basket, isn't it, Tommy? Yeah, this is one that we found when we went to, um, went to Ohio. And by the way, you guys, thank you so much for... Um, for your purchases on Monday, you literally like found you guys got some great stuff. Yeah, and everything, everyone who's paid their invoices, it's already been shipped out to you. Um, Kathleen, great question. She said, You've been cleaning the basement to reclaim your upholstery area. Are you ever going to do upholstery videos? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing that that's the first time we've gotten that question. <laughs> It's a little we more hope cleaning so. yet. Yes, we <laughs> yeah, hope right. so. So I'm reaching in here to split this fastener on the back side. 
but I like this because you it allows you to remove this you know um, what kind of basket is that this is awesome it's a great big backpack like basket for picking fruit it's so neat Probably. it's an oldie yeah it's an oldie or grain mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. old or grain yeah And then we have this guy. I And you know, I shouldn't have made my holes before I figured out where I was gonna attach this, but you know what, it's okay. Because I'm, I'm putting it down through an opening in the weave. So you do wanna keep that in mind. Not through the slat. Right. Oh, I dropped my thing. What thing? Her bread. Just Her give bread. me one. I just, mm. Wherever I put them. I don't see them. That's what I'm looking for. Where are they? Did you? Oh, right here, Mom. Oh, right here. I was going to say they disappeared. Right there. Mm -hmm. Looks oh. like a trapper's basket, says Sandy. Yeah, it could be. But oh my gosh. This is cool, you guys. Yeah, it is cool. And removable. Now you could also glue these in place. Oh, but I think the brads give it. Oh, we have to make JR. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that is cool? That is I cool. Like that. That's cool. really, really cool. So there's one. Oh, that is neat. Oh, I'm so excited. This is an awesome little picnic basket. And I love the shape of this. So oh. cute. I was gonna paint this up, but then I thought, no, let's let's just um leave it as leave it, it as it natural. is and all natural. Leah, you know something? You can yes. if you're speaking French. Oh um, French. <laughs> <laughs> I do speak French. French fries. Yeah, me French too. Toast. Oh, French toast. But look at you guys. So I was just thinking like how cool these would look if, if you have them decoupaged onto like a tube like this with the right size stencil. Yeah. But you could cool. use it to put a bottle of wine in for a gift mm -hmm. you, thing. You could do a lot of cool things with this. Hold um, your paintbrushes. You could take these. Listen to this. What if you used these for Halloween? Mm -hmm. and wrap them around a flameless candle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That would be very cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Or not even for Halloween, just... Anytime. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So that is neat. I like that. I'm going to have to do one of the... I just love that look. Betty said the stories that basket could tell if it could talk. I know. Oh, isn't that, that cool? the truth? Shannon said you could carry your kids or pets in the basket. You, you see, sure you could. could. Liz said there are some decorative larger brads that would look great, too. Oh, yeah. They just have to have the split in the back, you know? Like the paper fasteners of old. Or the, school. yeah, or the, uh, like the hinge clips could, or the hinge fasteners, hitch fasteners are called. The Tim Holtz hitch fasteners would be really cool, too. It does look like a Yogi Bear picnic basket. Picnic basket. Picnic. Reminds me of my pie baskets. Yeah. Because I have a couple of those. I would love to see one of your pie baskets sometime soon. With a pie, pie in it. In it. <laughs> With a pie in it, right? <laughs> we're, we're delivering a, um, the, the big bench, the, that big uh, IOD, the, the, the bench with the uh, botanist transfer on it sold yesterday. So we are delivering that today. And Margaret, the lady that I mentioned on Wednesday, I was like, Margaret, were your ears ringing? Because we were talking about your banana cream pie. Oh, that was her. Yes. And I didn't know that. And um, <laughs> and I said, you know, so here JR's fee for delivery is this. And and then um, I said, but you know what, what, real, what he'd really love if you also included the banana cream pie. <laughs> yeah, I think I counted it. You always have to make homemade, homemade pie. Yeah. 
pudding. Vanilla pudding. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Well, this one is so easy to make. It is so easy. Well, I don't. I don't think it's difficult to make homemade. Pudding. Well, I don't either. But I don't either. But I also think, oh, I don't want to be like. In the summer, sometimes it's nice, especially if you don't have AC, um, to uh, do something quick and easy. And this mm. one was so good. It was like two two boxes of instant pudding mix, banana, and then three cups of half and half. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> How could that be that? Oh, you guys, I'm a little obsessed with these. Elena says her mom and uncle have owned antique stores for years, so getting to see some of this old stuff again is oh, really cool. Oh, that's really fun. But, oh, yeah. That I mean, is really cool. it's so cool. Brad Fastening with Lynn at l &J Goods. A live Please. demo. And a, a live free 30-minute demo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't seem to get I'll my join favorite. Lynn for 30 straight minutes. Of how to separate in the back of a brand. Brad. Yes. Oh, my goodness sakes. That little stinker. You know, like a there, I got it. I got it. Well done. If only I had my sound machine. I'd give you a round of applause. Mm -hmm. All right. So there, there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Check it out. Gorgeous. That, that is me. Cool. Cool. You know it's a little big on here. I think it's a little big. I'll probably switch this out and maybe do, um, you know, do the smaller one. I mean, I know it's I think not, the smaller size not be the better. same stencil, but do another one that you could put Christmas greens in it. Oh my gosh! Holly, you, oh my gosh! The you Christmas could. Stencil? I yeah. mean, the this is cool. The yeah. Brad's. I'm digging so it. I'm digging really it. Cool. Yeah, you could add another Brad, but you know why? Like, what are you gonna do with it? But you, you know what I mean? Oh, this is neat. Um, you know what I always say? What? You can never have too many Brads. You can never have too many. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Yeah. All right, you guys, we are just in an hour. I hope you enjoyed that project. Thank you so much. You can find everything in the collection list. Mm -hmm. And if you want to hop off now, we, we you can, but we're going to continue for just a couple minutes. I want to show you how I finished those uh, projects, the mixed media projects from Monday. So let me grab my stuff and show you. This was the Angel uh, Mixed Media piece. Remember that I was going with a, the darker green um, and uh, navy, um, the, or the mint green with the navy and gray, and I'm telling you, I got home, I, I just told, I was like, no, it's not me. I'm not feeling it. And so I totally changed it out and did these pink roses and um, finished this up after I got home. But isn't that beautiful? I'm thinking I need to do maybe three more of these. And and I know you don't like pink and you don't like angels. <laughs> the only thing worse than angels are cherubs. <laughs> and they just give me griefs. But she's pretty. She's, she she's very pretty. Yeah, so this is how I finished that mixed media board. And yes, today was a little more morbid, Deborah. It was. <laughs> but look how we're ending, ending it with a beautiful with angel. Beautiful, beautiful angel. And then my journal, um, which is, um, I'm going to talk for a second. Uh, we, um, I have been working on projects for our mixed media journaling retreat in Ohio in October. I'm not sure if Sue has that live yet or not, but um, these are some of the projects that we'll be doing. And this is one of them, and I'm still working on this one. But here is my journal page from Monday. Now, I already know she's got a really big head. The, the head is top. Maybe big. people wouldn't think that. If I you know. Say I know. You but just gotta wear it she's confidently. She's quirky. 
And, and again, I said, does she have a large head or does she have small arms? Exactly. That's, yeah, that's in the eye of the beholder. Teeny tiny yeah. So here's what I did with this, you guys. Um, I actually... Um, Remember we laid out these pieces from the Andy Skinner, right? And I laid them in, you know, little squares and sections. And somebody said stained glass windows. I think it was probably Melissa, right? That Melissa Jacobson said that stained glass. And I was like, you know, yeah, right. So I have this really cool like tile uh, stencil from um, Tim Holtz. And yeah. I just, I used my acrylic inks and I just mixed them with a little bit of uh, my um, gesso and I just kind of very softly faded those colors in my color palette um, into the background in different areas. I used modeling paste with another Tim Holtz uh, stencil that has some different uh, patterns on it and I think that adding these really brings like a pretty like tile background look to it. So I was really, really, really happy with that. Not as happy with that, but it's okay. I'm gonna get over it. Um, I have her <laughs> carrying a little sign that says shine. I wish you didn't Megan, say anything. She needs your face instead. Of I would agree. That yeah, that would make all. So the then I aged. Though. I aged the whole thing when I was done with uh, raw umber acrylic ink. Just washed it over. Used my baby wipe to kind of stop. See, you're looking at her head. I would know. I was looking at her. What um, is she holding in her hand? Just a little sign that says shine. Yeah, and you should shine no matter what size your head is. <laughs> or your arms. God or made you. You are perfectly made. And then I'm going to have to paint over her head. I'm going to have to. You know, that's. I'm not hearing the body positivity here that I'd like to I hear. Know. Okay? Uh, I'm not trying to big head shame her. No, and, or small arm her. <laughs> small arm. And then, and then I added, I just took my Stabilo um, pencil, black pencil, and I used one of my, one of my, um, oh gosh, you made Woody's, Woody crayons, and I just outlined certain areas to give it some, you know, dark, yes, country abstract art. And I know one thing that would fix it in an instant. Well, two things. What? Googly eyes. <laughs> and then everybody knows what they're looking at is just silly. We don't need to worry about what size anyway, and proportion uh, everything She's is. lovely. And I, I, I do kind of like her. Good. Kind of. I'm, I'm working on it. I, I, if I did a smaller head right there and then I did like hair on her... Um, it could, I think it could work. I might, I might go back to it. But that's the idea of an art journal. Like, uh, this doesn't have to be finished. I can go back to this and, and make changes. And so. just to circle back, we don't know what form we will take when we leave this earthly realm. And that may be, that may be okay. And that may be how God wants us to look. Yeah. T-Rex arms. Yes. All right. <laughs> I can't help I'm just help. saying, like, that can be your vision. I'm switching out that face. That can be your vision for... That's what an oh. angel means to you. You know, Leah, I wish now I had done a little fold in them. And, you know, and then, so when you open the page, it went like this. <laughs> Patrice said simply, small wings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, Holly from Georgia. I'm so glad you found us live, too. I yes. hope you're enjoying yourself here. Well, we have certainly enjoyed having you here today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh, and um, her live. And her we trip. will... Um, and Stephanie has a big head and little arms, so there you go. <gasps> That's enough shaming, she yeah. says. Yeah, okay. I bet she doesn't, but... And she so she we will... Um, She's just a little angel. I mean, think about think about toddlers and babies, infants, like how the peanut characters. Yes, they're so cute because of their. All of my kids have big heads. I love a kid with a big head. Anyway, 
well make some extra cute you guys have a great day we'll see you on monday who knows and like what patrice, we're gonna get into. <laughs> patrice said maybe it's the wings the small wings maybe that's what's throwing it up i like the small wings patrice i do i really do i think um i think it's her head <laughs> They do. It's I not her head up. It's just her face. Do they have, do angels have arms and wings? Because that other one doesn't. She just has wings and They're no hidden. arms. Her, her arms are behind, behind her. her dress. Oh, yeah. I see. You know, kind of like this type They're of thing. I think if you removed the arms. I think they're, yeah. Chris go. says she thinks the angel looks cool. I think if you hadn't said anything and just displayed it, like this is what it is. Well, I want to hear what I have struggles with, too. Thoughts. So, 